the key is, really, not to do anything. You're a security guard, not a policeman. Got that? Sure. They don't give you a gun for a reason. Just make your presence known. That way somebody planning to take a laptop out of one of these offices decides otherwise. Don't do anything. You got that? I got it. Repeat it. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Okay. Let's uh, go outside here. We're going to scout the perimeters? No, I just <clears throat> need a smoke. So anyway, guy walks into a bar. He asks the bartender, he says, was I in here last night? Bartender says, you sure were. Guy asks the bartender, he says, well, did I have a good time? Bartender says, you sure did. Guy says, well, then the hangover's definitely worth it. <laughs> <laughs> then the hangover's definitely worth it. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. What? The ghost. What do you mean? Woman is on campus every day. What for? Who knows? She just gives people the creeps. There have been complaints, but it's a public institution. And she doesn't really do anything. Let's go to the commons. We left our stuff in there. So, we switch off on weekends monthly. That's the way the last guy liked it. I got no family, so it don't make no difference to me. I'm flexible. We can keep doing it the way you're used to. Fine with me. Hey, I left your ID badge in the uh, commons. Should already have that on you. Make sure I give that to you as soon as we get in there. We both get called up on the carpet. Okay. Hey, I want to see what she's up to. Who? Think we got a serious security breach there? Do you mind? Let me get your ID badge first. You go ahead. I'll be right in. No. Pete. Can I help you with something? You've been standing here for a while. I've been waiting for Scotty to call. He was going to call you here? Is Scotty your son? He's in the army. He's supposed to call me when he gets back. He's supposed to call you? On this phone? Hmm? Where's your son stationed? He was stationed at Fort Bragg, but now he's over in Desert Storm, so I'm a little worried. Desert Storm? You mean he's stationed in Iraq? He's got to get that man out of Kuwait. Kuwait? Hey, Pete, I'm going to go get a soda. You want one? No, thanks. Here's your ID. I'll be right in. Well, don't let me forget. You know, most of these old payphones don't really work. Are you sure this is the phone he's supposed to call you on? He's supposed to call me and let me know he got back, okay? Tell you what, let me make sure that it's still working.
Yeah, it works all right. Hope you hear from him soon. So what's her story? She's been waiting for a call from her son to get back from Kuwait. What's he doing in Kuwait? She's been waiting for him to call since the 90s. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. You say she's been here every day? Yeah. Oh, hey, your cell ring. Yeah? Thanks. So the ghost is waiting for a phone call from Kuwait, huh? Figures. This could be important. I better take it. Another job opportunity? Not quite. Scotty. You've made me so happy, Scotty. Well, I'll be leaving Kuwait tonight. Yeah, I ship out at, oh, 700. No, no, I'll see you when I get home. I love you too, Mom. Bye. Who are you talking to? Uh, my mom. Oh, my ID badge. We don't want to get caught on to the car. So, guy walks into a bar with a duck on his head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very fun. Proud of yourself? What do you mean? I know what you did to that old lady. I heard the whole thing about it. I'll be home from Kuwait. I love you, Mom. You set her up for a big fall. Compared to what? She had her moment. Doesn't make any difference anyway. She's obviously forgotten all about it. She's out there in the hall right now waiting on her son to call. Yeah. Well, yesterday he called her. And I'll bet the hangover's definitely worth it. <laughs> 